Okay, so now I'm ready to sew my first group of four fabrics together and all the usual rules apply. I've tested my stitches, I've wound a few bobbins, I've checked my quarter inch seam allowance and if you're unsure of that, remember I've got my video on how to check that. And I've also changed my needle. So now I'm going to begin sewing. So what I'll do is I'll take my fabrics and I'll carefully unfold them and they're in the order that I want to sew them in. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew them down the seam this way and then we're going to come up and sew them up the other way and then we'll come back down this way. And if you're going to get confused accidentally on the order, what I suggest you do is print out my column number cards and just pin one on so we know that when we sewed these two we went down and then that will remind us to go back up on the other side. So I'll pin that on. We don't want it to get in the way of our stitching. And then I'm going to just move these over. And I'm going to take the first two fabrics and I will pin them together. So I'll line them up nicely, flip them over. And remembering that this is number one, this will be number two, strip three and four. So we'll fold them over. And I'm going to loosely pin them together. Now, because this is such a long strip of fabric, I'm actually just going to come in this way, which means when I pin them, I'm pinning that much of the fabric together rather than that way, which means I don't have to use quite so many pins. But as always, I suggest you use as many pins as you're comfortable with. I don't suggest you try doing this without pins unless you're used to sewing without pins. So I'll come along all the way to the bottom and pin it. Okay, so now I've pinned that, I'll come back up to the top and I'll start at the top. And what I can do is as I'm sewing, I can check that the edges are lined up and I'm happy with it as I'm sewing. So if you notice it's not straight, you can correct it as you're sewing. So I'll put my foot down and I'm gonna sew along this whole edge. Removing the pins as I go and just checking that those edges are nicely lined up. And remember, I am taking it easy because the slower you go, the less likely you are to make mistakes and stitch nice and straight. Okay, so don't hate me, but what I'm going to make you do is I would like you to set your seams, finger press it open and iron every seam as we go. I believe we're going to get the best outcome if we do this. If we take it nice and slow and do it properly, I feel like you're going to end up with a much nicer quilt top that you'll be much happier with. So what we're going to do is set our seams and remember we're pressing, press that seam, move it along, pressing moving it along, pressing all the way to the end. And then we'll start at the beginning and we're going to open it up. And now we want our seams to be facing up and we're going to do that for every single seam. So that's nice and easy, seam facing up, folding the fabric over, finger pressing, and then we're going to give that a press. And then I'm going to do that all the way along. Seam facing up, finger pressing, and giving it a press. So now I've 
finished that, I'm going to sew my next strip on. So now I've got my first two strips on together. I'm going to take my third strip, remembering that it was one, two, three, four, and this is my third strip. So what I will do is I will take it, and this is my right side. I'm going to face it onto the right side of this fabric. I'm going to place it down, and I'm going to line it up nicely with the edges here. Of, well, the, sorry, the salvages. And then I'm just going to really roughly line it up until I get to the bottom. And remembering we want to start sewing from the bottom here. So I'm just going to flip it over because I want to sew from the bottom and I want to sew on this side because I'm sewing from the left hand. And do you see there's a bit of an overlap there? That's okay because I know it was nicely lined up at the top and it just means it's not going to be all raggedy and we're going to be able to get the most use out of our fabric. So I'm going to pin that like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will be cut cutting those ends off. And then I will pin that, making sure those edges are lined up really nicely. So now I've come to the bottom and it has come away a little bit. It's not perfectly lined up as it was, but it's still fine. So the reason we're starting from the bottom is because it does help us reduce the warping when we sew all these really long strips together. And remember, this is where we started last time. So we don't want to start sewing here. We want to come to our new top and we want to start at the top. So I'll sew this strip together. And you can, again, remember you can, we don't need to backstitch. And I do have my quarter inch foot on, I did forget to mention that. Okay, now we're going to press this seam. So we're setting our seams again. And now we're facing our seams up. Remember, we're always going to go up and I'm going to fold it over, finger press it, and then press it with my iron all the way along. Okay, so now that's done. We're just going to sew our last strip on. So now I'm going to sew my last strip on, remembering that I came sewed down this way and then I came up this way and now we'll be coming down this way again. So what we'll do is we'll open that up and again I'm going to line that up the best I can and I know I want to sew it this way so we'll flip it over. I'm going to line those edges up and pin it. We've just come down to the end here and now I'll find my top and I'll sew down from here and I did forget to mention that I've got my stitch length at two which is a nice compact stitch so this is the last strip I'm sewing together So I'll come right down past the edge, cut my thread, and then what I would like you to do is press that last seam. Okay everyone, what I would like you to do is take your fabric and group it how you'd like it grouped. Now I know some of you have chosen fabric and there's not so much of a difference in the colours and the designs, but what you need to do is find something that differentiates it. It might be the shades, it might be some have flowers and some have polka dots, but just do your best to separate them and group them into groups of four. So you need to group them all into groups of four and then we're going to sew them all together please. 
Now I know I showed you a very tedious way of ironing in between every seam that we sew, but I do believe you'll get a much better outcome if you take that extra time. So just have fun. It doesn't all have to be done in one go. You could take a break. You could do a little bit one day and do some the next. But remember, I just want you to have fun and I'll see you next week.